Um, not too much. I, I, right. I'll, I'll be, I'll be, completely, I'll be completely dead honest. I don't know too much. Um, and that's fine, yeah, because King DD is definitely uh, not your everyday pick for characters. Uh, quite the interesting pick, but we have been seeing uh, not just Kimi, but several other King DDs. Uh, and to be honest, I've actually been watching like a couple of online and offline tournaments, and I do see King DD pop up and do pretty well for themselves every now and then. So already here in winners' quarterfinals, we do have Kimi going up against Frost with the Diddy Kong pick, which I neglected oh, yeah. to mention, but I was aware that uh, Frost did have a Diddy Kong. We're going to be seeing a bit more of that here in the quarterfinals, but we're also going to be seeing some pretty good ledge trapping here coming out from Hime. Frost going to be having a little bit of a hard time getting back up, but still able to do so regardless and uh, getting a decent amount of damage in here. So far, it's still pretty even game. I, I've noticed the, uh, the pick of the small battlefield. Has this uh, been a lot more common as a starter because PS2 is out? Uh, this is, I think, only the second time we've seen this today. A couple of matches have started off on... Uh, Smashville, if I'm not mistaken, so we're getting a good amount of variety so far. All right. It's, it's nice seeing Diddy uh, uh, being known for being quite good in uh, the start of, the, of course, Smash 4 and then uh, where, where it sits in the meta. Where do you think this meta, uh, this matchup between um, just, just, just from a pure character selection standpoint? Um, like just like this matchup as a whole? Are you yeah, saying? just just as just in general, if you were to stack someone who's even with Diddy, someone who's even with King DD, you know, same skill set. Do you think there's like any, any type of character advantage going with someone that is a really good zoning character uh, versus a heavy? Um, well, I would just say like just going off of the tier list, if anything, uh, Diddy Kong. Like, even if you saw uh, Smash Ultimate Summit, we did see Tweet uh, take the whole thing with Diddy Kong. We also saw, I believe, like, uh, Aaron do very, very well for themselves as well. And I believe that as a result, we have been seeing a lot of uh, more Diddy Kong picks coming out from people who, like, you know, maybe used to pocket them, or maybe people who were curious and are now definitely interested in playing the character. Uh, we're seeing Frost already doing pretty uh, well on the Diddy pick, but you can see that that damage output that he made is capable of. A couple wrong neutral strings and you could find yourself down at a pretty large deficit uh, due to how strong those swings can be. Yeah. So that's definitely important to keep in mind is that uh, you're putting them up like you said like uh, if they were both on even skill level. Uh, which I would say he made pretty high skill level but Frost is definitely um, uh, shaping up to be one of our top talents for the state. Um, but regardless of that I mean yeah, even if uh, Frost does have good neutral, they need to really stay on their toes against a character yeah. with such high damage output. And here, yeah, speaking of the damage output, check out that strong up smash. Kimei's going to be taking the lead, yeah. if still at 135%. Yeah, definitely. Uh, take, and, and take and take a look. You, you see, Frost has to be very careful not to uh, make sure he stays at the middle of the stage tries, uh, and tries to keep on stage as much as possible, especially with Hime being at... at he makes a kill percentage right here, so we might see a stock here. But that being said, you know if Frost is not careful, he could be losing a stock and go, uh, and that could be a game one. Right, so it still could be going either way at the moment here. Good job on Frost calling out that uh, hanging onto the ledge. I'm sure if you didn't already know um, that the higher your percentage, the less invincibility frames that are available to you when you're out onto ledge, like he may just did there. So you'll lose your iframes faster if you hang onto ledge at a high percent. But there we go, good call out with that tried and true banana tech coming out from Frost. Uh, it's going to be lead, th those uh, bananas lead to you being able to land just about any smash attack you need at that moment. But I mean, here's the thing, uh, we're getting into a situation where um, Frost has to be very careful. Right. Yeah, so needs to be very precautious here. But, but And we're seeing that. You know, we're, we're, we're seeing that Frost is going in, just going for the quick hits, then stepping back. Yeah, because you can see that percent is starting to add up here for Frost at 116, but they're doing a pretty good job at doing the exact same. Good strings leading up to 104%, and given the weight classes, we do have a pretty even game at the moment. Look at that banana coming in once again into Ford Smash to take the first game. Good stuff on Frost bringing that back. Yeah. So yeah, like you said, like a, a zoner against a heavy, uh, zoner can win, but only if they're if they're doing it right. Because uh, given that Diddy Kong 
is also such a light character too going up against a heavy, it could turn this out very quickly uh, if you're not on your toes. Like you did see there towards the middle of the game, uh, he may did have a pretty dominant performance at that particular time. Here we go, going into the second match, we got the same character picks. Uh, but this time we're taking it to town and city. And look at that! I straight up forgot that that platform moves. That middle oh, one Oh right yeah, there. the middle one, yeah. I forgot that that moves, like, yeah, it's just been so long. Oh man. I'm loving Check this rule out. set. Yeah, look at it go, it is definitely quite the sight to see, man. It's almost like it's almost like uh like the stage was like out of order or something and somebody just got it up and running again, you know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, by the way, we fixed the platform now. <laughs> the platform now moved. There we go. Now now we got ourselves a little bit of an FD situation going on in the stage, which is good for Frost. You can already see them taking advantage of that. Getting a couple of solid hits in with those banana strings. Now Kimi's gonna be using that banana actually for a little bit of a reverse edge guard. Wow, smart play for Kimi. Using a Frost Zone toolkit there. Here comes these platforms, look at them go. Look at those platforms go in and out. Very cool, and look at the, uh, the balloon as well. It's a little fun land going on here. It's like an amusement park or something. It's just been so long since I've seen a move. So check it out. Regardless, we still have Frost taking the lead with this one stock, but taking a good, yeah, and that jab string right there, I don't know if you knew, uh, Bonanza, but that jab string can take stocks too. If you're light enough or if you're high enough percent. That guy's right. gonna take you right out of there. Okay. And then John will count it the section. Right. Right. That that doesn't really change there. Uh, but we can see doing a good job of taking advantage of it regardless. Oh, and look at that charged forward smash. I do like the confidence and it seemed like it paid out pretty well. Yeah, that that was a good read. Um, but then that was also bad on, um, on Frost's part right there. Like, you could have had a few other options to get out of that. Right. No, that's definitely true there. So, uh, hopefully Frost will be on their toes now. And it actually looks like that's already what we're seeing. Frost wasted no time tying up that, uh, stop count. Here we have an even game now. Oh, good damage output. So, yeah. I don't know if you knew um, that the Uppy, like I'm sure you knew, does have a, a super armor, but it does have a percent threshold to where if you do a certain amount of damage, you can just beat out the super armor. And look at that! Clean follow with the Gordon. Look, wasted no time finishing off with that banana, locking him in place for the four there to take that 2 0 win and winner's quarterfinals. Good stuff to Frost. Yeah, very good stuff.